hands free. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> Facebook. Face. Facebook. Good afternoon. Actually, good morning still. It's 1058 here in the great state of Alabama. Hey, Deborah. And uh, it's already 95 degrees outside. Hopefully, I've just taken care of the clicking noise that's been going on on my phone. I got to get a new magnet, though, because uh, it's losing contact somehow and slipping down on my phone. Benny's in the back, laid out. He's down there, and he is knocked out. Wes, what up? And I wanted to talk about the internal God. <laughs> the God within <clears throat> that dwells in houses not made by man's hands, in which we are. The house not made by man's hands. That's who we are. Bruce, who else just came on here? Tracy. Sorry we couldn't do class last night. I want to give you all a little nugget. Everything that we teach of the way, the life, the truth is all within you. All power is within. One power, which is God, is within. <clears throat> so the scripture says the Lord is in his holy temple. Let the whole earth be silent before him. The Lord that is in his holy temple in which you are is the I am in which you are. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let the whole earth meditate, silence your thoughts, turn within, consciously make contact with the one power which is God within you. And God is one with all. God is in all and fills all. Christ is the mystery that has been revealed or unveiled. And the Christ is God's spirit. A spirit holy, Holy Spirit in which we are. So we are visible. We are God's Spirit, Holy Spirit, visible. This is the gift in which God has given us all. We were birthed or begotten or emerged or squeezed out or manifested in this way of the very essence and substance of God, which is Spirit, Holy Spirit. And so what happens is we get all these teachings of an external God. You can see it in Genesis chapter 3 is where it started. Where Adam heard, he was walking in the cool of the day, he heard a voice, he heard a sound in the garden. Now the garden is his heart. So he is. But the sound he heard was without. He thought God was external. And so he heard what he believed, what he thought. And so right there, you start to see this separation. You also see, you see an external God. We also see a division between Adam's body and Adam's self or his mind. And because Adam blames his body, he says, the, the help me which you have given me basically tricked him. Not that way at all. So this division took place. And, uh, and we see this in a lot of teachings, uh, soul, body, spirit, this division, an external God. And so if there's an external God, then all power is not within me. And I must seek after the power that is external to me, which is lust. Because now I lack the power. The power is out here, an external God. So now I must seek healing, I must seek peace, I must seek 
love. I must seek power. I must seek wealth. I must seek abundance. I must seek prosperity. I must seek everything that I lack because now everything I need is without me or outside of me, external, because God is external. That is not true. Any word or any teaching that is teaching us, any word that is explaining God external to my own being is a false teaching and is a, is a, is a false God because Christ is in you, as you. We are visible. So our bodies, our minds, our eyes, our mouths, our bone structure, our organs, everything about us is God, is spirit. So, if I believe as Adam believed that God is external to me because I'm visible and my body is separate from my soul and my spirit is separate from the spirit, two spirits, no, that's du dualism, only one. My mind, my soul, my body, my spirit is all spirit of God, Holy Spirit. I am a spirit visible. I am God's spirit expressed visibly, 100%. So now I lack nothing at all. I see my true origin and source and that I emerged from the very side of God as the source and origin in which I emerged from. And now I lack nothing at all. Everything I am, every all power is within me and that is the only power. If I believe God is external and I seek after or I lust after things from without to get from God, now every suggestion that comes from without, every feeling, every suggestion, every shadow, now has a greater power than I do. Because I think I that, that all power is without me instead of within because God is external. But that's not true. But in that place, every suggestion has a greater power now because now I am seeking the greater power from without to overpower the very suggestion that has been, been presented to me. When all, in all actuality, all power, the one power, which is God, which is in me, which is one with me, as me, which is me, is within me. And all I need to do is learn to turn within and draw from the all power, the source that is within me, existing as love, experiencing peace, joy, happiness, um, experiencing abundance, experiencing patience, experiencing self-control. So in Psalms 22 and 27, it says, all the earths, all the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. Well, where's the Lord? I am within you. Everyone shall remember. Everyone shall remember and turn within. Where all power, the one power is. So be blessed today. The source of all things, all power, the one power in which you are is within. That's why our imagination is so powerful. It is a finished work of what we co-created before. As one with God. We are discovering everything that we created together before through imagination. And it's a finished work because we rested on the seventh day. Now through rest and meditation, imagination, things become visible to us so God is never external the Lord fills his holy temple in which we are let the whole earth let all the earth be silent before him in which you are 
Take that, chew on it for a little while. I put a teaching up on my Facebook page that will explain this and break it down better. And it'll help you uh, understand. But contemplate and meditate as the questions arise, turn within, meditate on the questions and the answers will come from within you, your Holy Spirit. Peace.